more WWDC content, because why not? The other day, Apple announced something that I thought was kind of like, whatever, it's kind of cool, I guess. But when I looked at Twitter and I saw the reactions from people, I saw way more positivity than I expected. People were like, wow, this is really, really cool. What I'm talking about is this continuity camera. And it's basically the ability to duct tape your iPhone to the back of your laptop or whatever and use it as a webcam. And look, that's a cool feature, right? Because you probably got a webcam on your device, laptop or whatever, Maybe it's a desktop, you don't have a webcam, maybe it's in your monitor. A lot of these webcams aren't very good. The camera in your phone is definitely going to be way better than the measly camera that is in your uh, your laptop or your monitor or what have you. So using your phone actually makes a lot of sense. And if people were excited about this, but I'm here to tell you something, you've been able to do this on Android. Presumably, there's probably an app on iOS that let you do this already too, but whatever. We're talking about Android here. You've been able to do this on Android for a really, really long time. And I'm going to show you in this video uh, the best way, my favorite way to set this up. So go to your phone, open up the Google Play Store and search for Droid Cam. Now there are two different variants here. There is the regular Droid Cam, which I believe is totally fine, but then there's Droid Cam X, which actually allows it to go up to 1080p in resolution. Now I believe that Droid Cam X might be a paid app, whereas the Droid Cam standard is a not paid app. I think I paid something for Droid Cam X. I don't remember what I paid, probably a couple of dollars. I prefer Droid Cam X just because it's a bit higher resolution, but you can try this for free with the regular plain old Droid Cam app. Once you have installed this on your phone, you're gonna go to your web browser. You're gonna go to the URL down below, it's dev47apps.com. You're going to download the client that you need to download for Linux or Windows. Click on download, let that guy download, go through the setup. At that point, once it opens up, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead, if you did the Droid Cam X, do this next part. If you didn't do the Droid Cam X, don't do this next part. But you're gonna click on Droid Cam. You're gonna to go to HD mode. This thing will pop up, set it to 1080p, and then you actually have to restart your computer for some reason. I don't know why, but you do. Let it go through that process. Open up the Droid Cam app on your phone. You're gonna get a screen that looks something like this. Click on the big box in the middle. Type in the IP address that you see, your Wi-Fi IP, and hit start. And it is going to open up. Now, I'm doing this on my Surface Duo, so the camera is seen black, but if I open it up, hey, look at that, it's a webcam. Now with Duo, it's a little bit funky because you, you kind of need to rotate. It doesn't quite know what to do, but you can see there, that's a live wireless webcam going to my computer. And I can show you what it looks like if I go to my Droid Cam thing here. You can see that like the quality, is pretty decent, right? Let's flip this back around here. Hi, how's it going? How's that quality? How does it look to you? I think it probably looks pretty halfway decent. So again, this is something that you know isn't necessarily new. Maybe it's new to iPhone, I, I don't know. Probably it's not, maybe it is though. It's definitely not new to the Android ecosystem. So if you want to use your phone as a webcam on your computer for free or perhaps for a small amount of money, that is exactly how you do it. And I actually use this all the time. Anytime you're watching one of my videos and you see me do the overhead desk camera, if you don't know what's happening there, that is a OnePlus 7 Pro that is being used to point down at my desk to give me that lovely desk cam look. That's what I use. This is I use it all the time. I've been using it now literally for years and it is one of my favorite applications that I have on all of my phones. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.